Good morning, Friendship United Methodist Church family. God bless you. Good morning, good morning. Come on, let's give the Lord what he's worth. Put those hands together and let us bless the Lord. Amen. Come on, saints of God, praise the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. He watched over your sleep last night. Let's go back. He watched over you all week. Come on, saints. Hallelujah. He watched over you all week. And not only that, he watched over your sleep last night. He woke you up this morning. God didn't have to do it. Hello, somebody. But he did. And Lord, we thank you for that. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 He is a keeper. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. We want to thank you for joining us this morning for worship service by way of uh, Facebook, YouTube, uh, conference call. Thank you for joining us. Say to God, we've got a wonderful word. Our theme for the past few uh, weeks, for the past week, should I say, has been worldly living versus kingdom living. Praise God. And the topic uh, for this morning, praise God. Uh, do not love the world, part two. We gave you part one last week. Amen, amen, amen. Call a friend up and have them to join us. This is a good teaching this morning. Thank you. Just a few reminders. I want to remind you of our upcoming uh, church homecoming. Uh, praise God, which will be celebrated on the Sunday, September the 6th at 10 a.m. And saints of God, we will have drive-up parking lot worship service on that Sunday. We pray that the Lord will, will govern the weather. Praise God. But please tell your friends, yes, we will have drive-up worship service on Sunday, uh, September 6th. Uh, as we celebrate our homecoming. And we ask and encourage all of you to continue to uh, give your donation. Uh, those of you who have not given yet, please, Pastor James, along with God, along with the Friendship Church family, we are asking everyone to give your contribution. Praise God, we need your contribution. And thank you in advance for being obedient to the word. Praise God. Hallelujah, saints of God. I feel good this morning because God woke me up. He woke you up as well. Amen. In spite of all that we have been through, all that we have gone through, the Lord is good. And we ask you to keep the McCray family in your prayer. Uh, we lost uh, Brother Herbert Lee. He was funeralized this past Thursday. Let us keep the family in our prayers. Praise God. Listen, you're still alive. You're still among the living ones. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come on God again for worship by way of Facebook, YouTube, conference call, etc. Worship is worship. And oh God, we want to thank you for allowing us to see another day of worship. You didn't have to do it, but you did. And oh Lord, we thank you for waking us up this morning. Oh Father God, you, you never let us sleep too late. You, you woke us up right on time. And for that, God, we thank you, O oh Lord. Father God, we thank you for being our overseer. We thank you, Father God, for, for being our savior. Thank you, God, for being our comforter. Thank you, Lord, for being our earthly provider. Thank you, God, for giving us all that we need and some of our wants. Oh, Father God, we look to you. And God, we just want to say thank you this morning. You are the omniscient God. You are an awesome God in your way. And Father God, we come now to hear from you, O oh God. And as I dispatch your word, I pray, God, that your people will receive your word, O oh God. God, we best to visit all the friends who are listening this morning, God. Someone woke up this morning, God, with a heavy heart. You let them know, God, that after this word today, O oh God, you will certainly comfort them, O oh God. In Jesus' name, don't let the world steal your joy. 
Hallelujah, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. And Lord, we pray for the sick in Shedding's. We pray for the privileged, oh God. I, I pray, God, you, you, you do what you're good at. Do what you're best at, God. Deliverance. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now, God, as we go to the Word, we pray, oh God, that your people will not only listen, but I pray that they will hear the Word. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. 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 Saints of God, I'm going to invite you to First John chapter two, if you will. First John, in the back of your Bible, chapter two, verses sixteen and seventeen. I pray you have your Bible, saints of God. Pastor James, love to teach. This is what I do best. This is my calling. Praise God. Hallelujah. First. John chapter 2 verses 16 and 17. Hear what it says. I pray that you're there. Well, let's go back to the 15th verse, but we will certainly execute the 16th verse today. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Saints of God, don't love your stuff. Hello, somebody. <laughs> don't love things. Praise God. Now the text is taken from the 16th and 17th verse, verses. For all that is in the world, the lust of uh, the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away. Listen, saints, the world is passing away. Worldly things are passing away. And the lust of it but he who does the will of God will abide forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Saints of God, don't, don't, don't love the world. Don't love stuff. Because these things, material things, will pass away. Praise God. Last Sunday, I gave you a part one. This morning, we're going to give you part two. Do not love the world. World in this context is, is the moral and evil system opposed to all that God is and all that he holds dear. In this sense, the world is the satanic system opposing Christ's uh, kingdom on earth. Praise God. The world refers to Satan's evil works on earth through evil men. Amen, somebody. Satan, also known as the devil, he is also known as the devil, is an entity in the uh, Abrahamic religions that seduces humans into sin or falsehood. In Christianity, Satan is usually seen as a fallen angel. Yes, God kicked him out of heaven because he tried to control the heavens. Amen, somebody. Satan, praise God, he is a great piety. He, he is beauty in his way. But listen, there is nothing beautiful about Satan. There is nothing beauty, beautiful about Satan. Praise God. And because of this, hear what God did. God gave Satan temporary power over the fallen world. Satan has a host of demons. He's not by himself. He has a host of demons. Satan's mission 
is to attack humanity, especially Christians. After Adam and Eve yield to the voice of Satan, humanity lost its spiritual relationship with God. But thank God for his redemptive work through his son, Jesus Christ. Amen, somebody? Aren't you glad Jesus did it for you? Now, say to God, let us go to the text. Praise God just for a few moments. Let us look at the 16th verse, uh, 1 John chapter 2, the 16th verse. Uh, praise God. Here we, here, here we are, say to God, hear the word. For all that is in the world. For all that is in the world, for all that is in the world, the content of the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Hello, somebody. For all that is in the world, the world consists of sin, evil, praise God, the lust of the flesh. Lust is used negatively here for a strong desire for evil things. Hello, somebody. Flesh refers to the sin disposition of man. The rebellious self dominated by sin and in opposition to God, eyes, eyes. Satan uses the eyes as a strategic avenue to incite wrong desires. <laughs> Satan's temptation of Eve involved being uh, uh, attracted to something Beautiful in appearance. But the result was spiritual death. Now, saints of God, do you see how Satan can set us up for a fall? Tell him somebody. The pride of life. The phrase connotes the idea of uh, arrogance over one circumstances, uh, which uh, produces uh, heartiness or exaggeration. Praise God, parading what one possess to impress other people. Do you know anybody like that say to God? Do you know anyone who put their stuff before God and they want to parade their stuff and they want the world to see their stuff? Can I get a witness, somebody? But guess what the word says? It's not of God. Hello, somebody. Can I get a witness this morning? Thank you, Jesus. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the, the pride of life is not of the Father. The world is the enemy of the Christian life because it is in rebellion and opposition against God and controlled by Satan. Listen, the world is controlled by Satan. I'm not talking about creation. No, no, no. I'm talking about the content. Evil and sin that is in the world. Now, since it's not, I'm going to prove this to you. If you will, turn with me to Ephesians. Praise God. Ephesians chapter 2. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us, let us look at Ephesians chapter 2, if you will. There is something here we all need to see. Uh-huh. Are you there with me? Ephesians chapter 2, praise God. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 2, I just told you that. Satan has power. Listen, God gave him temporary power <laughs> in the earth. Hear this. Ephesians chapter 2. Are you there? Now let's look at the second verse. Let's go through if you don't mind. Praise God. We will probably read through the seventh verse. Hear this. The second verse. In which you once walked according to the course of this world. Listen, believers. You once walked. You once walked. 
like the world. According to the prince of the power of the air. Now who's that? That's Satan. <laughs> Satan has power in this earth. Come on somebody. He has power. And his, listen, he, he, is, he has demons. They're all over the world, saints of God. The second phrase says, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. Who's that? Satan. Glory, hallelujah. Verse 3, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature, by nature, by nature, your sinful nature, we were of wrath just as the others. But thank God he has, he has transitioned us. Verse 4, let's go just a little further. But God, but God, who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our sin, made us alive together with Christ by grace, you have been saved. Hello, somebody. We've been raised with Christ. Believers, you no longer worldly folks. You're of Christ. Can I get a witness, somebody? Now, hear this. Thank you, Jesus. Satan is the father of sin and evil. Satan has a mission. You know what his mission is? His mission is to kill, steal, and destroy. Satan has his work in front of him, saints of God. Not only that, Satan roams the earth looking for you. He's looking for me. He's looking for our family. He's looking for your husband, your wife, your son, your daughters. That's his job. He is the prince of the power of the air. In other words, he is the king of this earth. He does what he wants to do with the weak vessels of people. Oh God, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Now, saints of God, not only that, praise God. Satan, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Satan is a deceiver. He is the master of deception. Satan, he, he is the captain of this world. Not of creation, but of sin and evil. Satan entices us to follow his system. Can I get a witness, somebody? If you recall, uh, Satan, can we get it? Satan deceived Eve. Yeah, praise the, praise he deceived Eve and he attacked Job. Can I get a witness, somebody? And he led Jesus to Jerusalem, set him on, a, on, on, on the pinnacle in the temple. And he showed him all the goods of the world. He showed Jesus the, all the pleasures of the world. But thank God Jesus didn't bow down to him. Thank God Jesus passed the test. See, to God, we need to pass the test this morning. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Can I get a witness, somebody? Don't let the devil steal your family. Can I get a witness, somebody? I'm talking to somebody this morning. You got to turn your life around because the devil is leading you straight to Haiti. There is nothing beautiful about Satan. Glory, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Hear this. What are the sins of this world? What are the sins of the flesh? Hear this. The flesh is weak. It craves for the things of this sinful world. Think about it, saints of God. We crave for passion. Can I get a witness? Up? Can I just speak God's words up in here? Say to God, Satan will tell you do things that, that, that are against the will of God. That's the devil. That's not God. The Bible tells us these things are not of God. They are not of the Father. Glory, hallelujah. Hear 
this. What are the things of the flesh? What are the things of this world? Money. The love of money is at the top of the list. Listen, there is nothing wrong with money, but it's the love of money. The love of money will make you do some foolish things. Can I get a witness, somebody? Hallelujah, somebody. Listen, the love of money is a sin if it was true. Greed is a sin. Hear this. Money is, it is God's blessing for us to maintain our daily well-being. Yes, Lord. It's God's money, but we spend it like it's our money. Come on, somebody. Oh, I'm talking to somebody here this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear this. This is the reason why some people refrain from paying their tithe and offerings. Why? Because they think it's their money. <laughs> Can I get one witness? This is the reason we rob God. Because everything we make, our income, is ours. That's how we look at it. But since God, God gives it to us. And God expects you to use it wiser. He expects us to use it according to his glory. Can I get a witness, somebody? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Say to God, most of us give our tithe to the world. <laughs> Let me say that again. Most of us give our tithe to the world. Hello, somebody. Some of us give it all to the world. Now let me explain what I'm saying. Help somebody. Hear this. When we spend God's money on worldly goods, it could be a sin. Am I communicating to anyone this morning? Hear this. We shop until we drop. <laughs> we go to the mall, thanks to God. We stop at this store. We stop at that one. We go to J.C. Penney's. Oh, Hallelujah. We're going to bail come on somebody. We just shout, 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 shout until we get tired. And then what we'll do, we'll find a bench in the mall and we'll sit down and we'll rest for a while. Can I get rid of somebody? And then we'll get up again and we'll go shopping again. We'll start the process all over again. And then we come to church on Sunday morning and we'll give God a tip. We'll give him the leftovers. I'm talking to somebody here now. I don't know who I'm talking to. And you wonder why your life aren't being blessed. It's because you're spending God's money on worldly things. Now let me tell you how to get to Christ. And what you might need to do, praise God, take your tithe off the top and say, Lord, I'm going to shop. I'm going to spend everything else, but I'm going to put my tithe aside. That's how you get your blessing. Why? Because you're putting God first. I'm talking to somebody here this morning. Can I get a witness, somebody? Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. I hear this. Mm, 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 mm. That's what I call worldly shopping. <laughs> when you spend God's money on worldly things. Glory. Hallelujah. God wants us to shop. Yes, he does. He wants us to enjoy material things. But saints of God, some of us have gone overboard. Glory, hallelujah. God wants you to enjoy your life. God wants you to, to obtain as much as you can. Some of us are accustomed to tipping God. We've been tipping God all these years. But let me tell you something. Don't you know that, that uh, let, let me say this. Don't you know that your tithe and your offering uh, are acts of worship? Now let me say that again. In the Old Testament, they brought their tithe in the church. They honor God with their tithe. And hear this. Even today, we don't have to go in that, 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 on that farm, but God has blessed us with a blue collar job, a white collar job, and He expects you to give Him this tithe. Then He will give you more and more and more. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. I believe I'm talking to somebody here. Now hear this. Here's another entity. There are some others that things of the world. Hatred is of the world. Oh God, I'm talking to somebody right now. Someone has hatred in their heart right now. That's of the world. It's not of God. Can 
I get a witness. Somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Gossiping is all this world. God doesn't want us to talk about folks. If you say something, say something nice about folks. It doesn't matter the condition. It doesn't matter the situation. See, sometimes, thanks to God, we, we, we speak our, we speak down our blessing. Can I get a witness, somebody? Lying is of the world. Have you ever had someone to, to tell a lie on you? Hello, somebody. Jealousy is of the world. Envy is of the world. Bad body is of the world. Slender is of the world. Malice is of the world. Revenge. Have you ever thought about getting somebody back? That's not God. Jesus has already done it for you. He said, revenge belongs to me. Can I get a witness somebody? Anger is of the world. Pride is of the world. Listen, yes, some of you are blessed. I'm talking to the whole wide world. God has blessed some of you. You are wealthy. You are rich. But don't let it go to your head. Because if it go to your head, you can't take it with you. When you go to your grave, you can't take it with you. Can I get a witness, somebody? Now hear this. Drunkenness. Yeah, I gotta go here. I gotta go here. I gotta go here. I was at a wedding yesterday and I performed the wedding and someone asked me, Pastor, is it a sin to drink? You know, I have to be realistic. I told him it's not a sin to drink. I don't drink. And I teach don't drink. But it's not a sin to drink. It's how much you consume. Hello, somebody. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness, somebody? Drunkenness is a sin. When you do the point, you don't know what you're doing. You don't understand what you're doing. That's a sin. You are destroying the temple of God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Too much of anything is a sin. Hear that when you stop speaking to your family members, <laughs> that's a sin. When you stop speaking to your to your to your co-workers, this is a sin. Can I get a witness, friends? When you stop speaking to your friend, your best friend, the person you hang out with all your life, and then something comes, know something, something comes and divide you. Come on, say to God, you stop speaking to each other. That's not of God. It's a sin. When you stop. Speaking to your husband, sleeping in the same bed. When you stop speaking to your wife, sleeping in the same bed, that's not of God. The Bible said, reconcile before the sun go down. Oh, glory, I believe I'm getting through to somebody here this morning. Now, thank you, God, I'm going to show you one more passage of scripture, and we going home. Turn with me to the Epistle James. You gotta see this with your own eyes. Epistle James. And let us look at the full verse. I gotta show you this before I leave. Epistle James, are you there? Chapter 4. My God, my God, my God. We are going to look at the Epistle James. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. And that's going to be chapter 4. Amen. And let's look at the fourth verse. Hear this. <laughs> oh, glory, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, God. Hear what it says. The fourth verse. Are you ready for this? I want to make sure everyone is there. Right? I'll give you just a few seconds. Epistle James. Chapter 4, saints of God, you have got to see this and you got to receive it. Verse 4 says, beginning at the full verse, Adulterers, adulterers, my God, my God, adulteresses. Listen, let me explain it before I go any further. Hear this. God expects us, especially believers, 
to be married to him. God wants us to get married to him. Don't you know when you give your life to Christ, you are getting married to Jesus? But say to God, when we, when we step away from the reality, when we step away from God, when we walk away from Jesus, you have just divorced him. That's why he calls us adulterers. Men, you are the adulterers. Women, you are the, you are the adulteresses. Can I get a witness somebody? Let's go just a little further. Do you not know that friendship, oh my God, here it is. Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? There it is. Men, there it is. Women, there it is. Glory, hallelujah. Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. There it is, saints of God. Who am I talking to? Just wave your hand wherever you want. Say, God, I thank you for the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Now hear this. I'm going to read this passage. And it says, verse 5, or do you think that, oh God, do you think that the scripture says in vain, my God, my God, the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealousy. That's God's spirit. The Holy Spirit is jealous of you being associated with this world. Hallelujah, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Friendship, you Madden Methodist Church. Visit all the friends. I pray that you will receive this word this morning. I pray that your soul knows the truth. Because the truth will set you free. Not only set you free, it will make you free. Do you, hallelujah, thank you God, do you love this world? Or do you love the things of this world? Say to God, God doesn't want us to run out the world. Can I get a witness somebody here? Oh Lord, I feel good this morning, saints. I'm so glad that my heart is in the right place. Now had you caught me 30 years ago, <laughs> I enjoy the pleasures of this world. But thank God, oh Lord, I can look back now and say, look at the foolish things I used to do. Nothing real bad, sinful. But you know, the small sins are sins. Oh, Lord, I'm talking to somebody here. Somebody needs to graduate from sin. Someone needs to graduate from this sinful world. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Do you want to be delivered from this sinful world? All you got to do, saints of God, is turn your life around. The Bible says, uh, this old world is passing away. That home you're living in is going to be K one day. Can I get a witness, somebody? Uh, thank you, Jesus. That automobile you drive is going to stop on you one day. Uh, your fine furniture is going to be given away one day. Can I get a witness, somebody here? Yeah. I'm talking to somebody this morning. You'll find clothes. You'll find jewelry. You're going to have to leave them behind. Can I get a witness, somebody? I'm talking to somebody this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The text is speaking to all of us. Do not love. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. And then Jesus tells us, Paul tells us in the 17th verse, in the world is passing away. Thank you, Jesus, in the lust of it. But he who does the will of the Lord, can I get a witness somebody here? I believe I'm talking to somebody. 
Thank you, Jesus. You want to wave your hand. Can I get a witness? The flesh is weak, but God is strong. Thank you, Lord. God can and he will readjust your thought pattern. The Lord can change your attitude. God can soften your heart. Do not love the world, but love God. Send and show you the world with all its pleasures. He will deceive your eyes. Yes, he will. Can I get a witness, somebody? Satan can paint a picture and it will gravitate your eyes. He is the greatest artist in the sinful world. Don't let him lower you down to his standard. Can I get a witness, somebody here? Thank you, Jesus. Don't let her steal your joy. Thank you, Jesus. Don't let the world deceive you. Don't let the world bring you down. But let Jesus pick you up. The world is designed to make you feel miserable. Rebuke the devil and he will free you. Take authority and tell Satan, get out of my house. Get out of my life. Get out of my family. Get out of my son. Get out of my daughter. Can I get a witness, somebody? Believe it, you got to take authority. Thank you, Jesus. Satan is your worst enemy. Yes, he is. I would rather love the Lord than to love the deceiver. I would rather give my life to the one who can save my soul, the one who can save my lost soul. He who walked, the one who woke me up this morning. Hallelujah. In my right mind, that's the one I want to serve. That's the kingdom I want to be in. If you know what I'm talking about, just wave your hand and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. You look beyond my worldly business. You look beyond my stupidity. But you saved me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Saints of God, I want you to, wherever you are, stand on your feet right now. Yes, you're in the privacy of your home. You may be in your, your, your living room, your bedroom. Stand on your feet right now. And just lift up both hands. Come on, we're going to worship God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be ashamed of them, saints of God. Love them. Worship God. Worship God. Worship God. Worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on and worship the Lord. Come on and worship God. To thank you, Jesus. So, Lord, I thank you for waking me up this morning. I thank you, Lord, for giving me strength in my limbs. I thank you, Lord, for allowing me to speak this morning. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for my family. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh Lord. My God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Saints of God, I'm going to say this in prayer. Let me share this with you. We were born in this world to love the world. I'm going to make it plain. After the fall of man. We were born with a sinful nature. You're not going to understand this theology. We are subject to sin because of your sinful nature. Because it's in us. It's in us, saints of God. Listen. Oh, God. Now, don't take this out of context. We're supposed to sin because we were born sinners. That's why we have that title, sinners. But God To save us from this treacherous world. And say to God, if you don't know Jesus this morning, if you don't know Jesus this morning, get to know him. If you need a special prayer, even after this worship service, I don't mind you calling me personally. 803. I'm not ashamed to give my number up because I, 
I want to say it once so. 447. 36. 86. Again, 803. 447. 36. 86. God wants to save someone right now. God wants to save your lost soul. Folks have been in the church for 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years and still have not found the Lord. He is not lost, thanks to God. Why live all these years uh, and lose your soul? The Bible says, what does it profit a man uh, to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Stuff, stuff is just temporary. But it will all be over back a while. The 17th verse says this world is passing away. The content of this world is passing away. If you want to give your life to Jesus, I want you to repent right now. Ask God to forgive you for your sins. Ask God to forgive you for robbing him for all these years. See, when we rob God, He robs us. He robs our sons, our daughters. He robs our grands, our great grands. That's that's the that's the that's the offspring curse. Hello, somebody. But if you want to give your life to Jesus, lift up your hands and God forgive me. Receive me right now, oh God, into Your kingdom. Please, Lord, forgive me, God. Heal my body, God. Heal my body. Heal my body. Heal my body. Saints of God, when you ask him to forgive you, I promise you, God will step in. He will intervene. Yes, he will. God can raise a sick person from the bed right now. I can feel in my spirit that God is getting ready to do something. This word was meant for all of us. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ask him to come into your life. Romans 10 9 tells us. If I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart, not your mind, your heart, that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. It doesn't stop this sense of God. You have to read the word. You got to give me the word and the Lord will speak to you. The, the, the scripture will come alive in you. And God will begin to heal. He will begin to deliver. He will begin to bless. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. All they may form, but they shall not prosper. I'm a living witness, says God. Come on, ask the Lord to come in right now. Ask Jesus to come into your life. Ask Jesus to turn your life around. Believe that God raised him from the dead. Believe in Jesus Christ. Believe that he died for your sins. Saints, I feel good this morning. Hallelujah. I feel a transformation. Someone is being transitioned right now to transform. Husband and wife, the Lord is fixing your marriage. Husband and wife, the Lord is fixing your marriage. Father, Son, the Lord is working out your relationship. Mother, daughter, the Lord is fixing your relationship. Children, youth, the Lord is working with you right now. The Lord wants you to obey your parents, obey your grandparents, obey your principals, your teachers. The Lord wants to bless your life in the future. He wants to bless your blessing starts now, but your future is brighter than you can see. Since I feel all right this morning, don't let the world steal the joy. My God, my God, if you know that you're saved, just say thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Come on, say thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Come on, say to God, say thank you, Jesus, I'm saved. I know that I'm saved. I know that I'm saved. Tell somebody the Lord just saved me. I'm saved now. I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. The song went said, the song went said, thank you.
Oh, my God. 